Welcome to my class. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a star pen. In this class, we are going to create not, not a normal star pen that is not flat, but we are going to create a three-dimensional star. And to do it, we are going to use a new tool, the Loft tool. And it is a very interesting tool, and you will discover it will be very useful for your creations. The inspiration comes from the nature and the moon, the sky, the stars, everything is around us. It's a super romantic pen that I'm a romantic girl. First, we need a vertical line and convert it into a construction line using the sketch palette. Using, again, the line tool, we create a diagonal line with the top vertex on the construction line. And using the smart dimension, we can input our dimension. We make the vertical length 15 millimeters, that is more or less half an inch and the horizontal line at 7.5 mm. And if the bottom vertex is not aligned with the origin, we need to move it to the correct position. Selecting the line, use the mirror tool found in the sketch section of the top menu. The construction line is the line we will mirror across, and then we will have the first tip of our star. Selecting both our lines, Choose the circular pattern tool in the sketch section of the top menu. Pick where you want your center point origin and set the number of repetition at 5. Using the break tool, clean the sketch from all those lines that are useless for the star shape. Break all the lines where they intersect each other. The red X represents where the line is going to cut. Make sure you see two red X's every time you break a line. Now that they are all broken, we can delete all these lines inside the star shape and clean the sketch. The loft tool needs to have at least two sketches on different planes. So now we have the star sketch and we need to create a second sketch. In this case, our second sketch will be on a plane parallel to the top one. To create this new plane, we need to use the Offset Plane tool from the Construct section of the top menu. We select the XZ plane in the Origin section of the left menu and set the distance to 3 mm. Now we are ready to create the second sketch we need for the Loft tool to work. In this case, the sketch is only a point aligned with the origin. Now we can apply the Loft tool. As you can see from the preview, this is how the tool acts. Basically, it merges two or more sketches with an organic transition from one shape to the other. So we can create the loft by selecting the star sketch first and then the point. And this is the result. Now we need to do the same for the back side of the star that is currently flat. We will use the mirror tool in the create section of the top menu and select the same plane we use to sketch the star as mirror plane. As object to mirror we select all the surfaces of the star, included the bottom one. And as mirror plane we select exactly the same plane we use to create the star sketch. If you cannot select it from the workspace you can choose it using the left menu in the origin section. And here we are, our star shape is done. Now we need to create a hole for a chain. We are going to create a new sketch on the top surface. We need to sketch a circle that is 2 mm in diameter and place not too close to the edges of the tip. Using the extrusion tool and the cut operation, we create the hole. If you have difficulties while selecting the profile for the extrusion, you can help yourself using the selection filter tool and flagging only the sketch profile. Now you can select the circle and create the extrusion. Make sure to set the operation cut and the direction as two sides. The final step before saving consists of adding a fillet on the edges to make them less sharp. These programs are so precise that these edges will be super sharp if left like they are now. Select now the fillet tool in the modify section of the top menu. Choose the edges by clicking on them at the top and the bottom ones 
and type 0.25 in the dimension box. And our star pendant is done. Now we can save our project in Autodesk Fusion Cloud and then export it in STL for 3D printing. To export the file, we select the object by clicking on the name that will appear on the top of the left menu. Right click or hold down Ctrl plus click on Mac and select Save as STL. Now that you know how to use the Loft tool, you can try and create your own designs. Be creative. Go to kirakira.com and check out our classes and see what you can learn and how you can improve your skills.